San Diego's no fault eviction ban has expired, and now landlords can terminate their tenants' lease agreements without cause. But city leaders are trying to step in before anyone ends up without a home. Fox 5's Sarah Allegra joins us live in Hillcrest with these new developments. Sarah. Yeah, now that the moratorium has been lifted, uh, backlogged eviction cases that have been put on pause during the summer months in courts have now resumed. Uh, the city is looking for ways to step in and help, trying to help the tenant long term. But attorneys I talk to tell me that this puts their clients, the landlords, at a disadvantage. The list of reasons a landlord can cite in order to evict a tenant just got a bit longer in the city of San Diego. This following the moratorium of no fault eviction since May of 2022. And now it's hitting. There's a tsunami of evictions. And because of these moratoriums and other laws, they were just pressing it back. They have not been able to utilize their property, even though they've owned it, they paid taxes, they made the investment. But eviction attorneys I spoke to, like Rosanna Maini, tell me its expiration is not enough, given the inequity her clients have dealt over the past several years. If you give to something, you take from another. It's not like we just create out of nothing. On the other side of the debate, Gilberto Vera, housing attorney for evicted tenants. Especially for, for tenants who maybe haven't moved in a long time. Suggests the expiration on San Diego's no fault protection takes a much larger toll on the tenant, forcing the renter into a competitive and expensive housing market amid record high inflation. It's gonna make it even more difficult in this hyper competitive rental market for tenants, especially those on like fixed income, disabled, elderly who are already receiving government assistance. This comes right on the Deals of the county declaring homelessness a public health crisis. City Council President Shani La Rivera responding to the matter in a statement saying, in part, as a community, we cannot afford to have families who are making their rent payment and abiding by their leases forced out of their homes. Our office is working to strengthen tenant protection as soon as possible. These no fault evictions are now legal, and there's not anything we can do as attorneys to prevent them from happening if the landlord has preserved the right notice. And if you have any questions regarding your legal rights or any pending evictions, you could visit our website. We have some resources laid out for you there at fox5sandiego.com. Just click on the scene on tab. For now, I'm live in Hillcrest, Sarah Legre, Fox 5 News.